In this SketchUp video, I would like to go over how to use the Protractor tool. The Protractor tool is located directly underneath of the Tape Measure tool. They're very similar in our large tool set. What I have on the screen is a very basic model. It's about the size of a building. It's about 40 by 20 feet. And I just want to use this to show how you can create angled guidelines to help you model. So the tape measure tool allows us to grab any edge and make a guide from it and then guidelines that we place on our model. The protractor tool lets us work on a face and create an angle that doesn't already exist. So when I pr pick the protractor tool, what you'll see is I can basically let it lay along any Face as I as I move through my model so let me go on any any surface here what I'm going to do is pick this surface so I'll let it snap to the corner that can be a little tricky and as you wiggle your mouse around it will want to flop from one axis to the other but once I get it where I want it I'm going to left click and then what you need to do is give a sketch up an idea of where you want to start so you have to click out with your initial line. So I'm going to go from this point straight out and click and then I rotate my mouse straight up. As I do that I get a very faint dashed line and I can put in my angle measurement. So I will say 15 degrees. So just type in 15, enter, and so I have a line going up 15 degrees. I can do the same thing over here. Come straight out and up 15. Once I'm done with that, what I can do then is use my line and draw right on top of these guidelines just as we did with the tape measure tool. I can then use the push-pull or anything like that once I've created that surface. So that's just using a protractor. I'm going to go up to Edit, Delete Guides to get rid of those so we can see this a little more clearly, and do that one more time. I'm going to come around to the other side of my model. So I just have this nice flat face. I will pick the protractor and let that hover along whichever edge I'm interested in. So I think I'll pick this one. I can click pull my mouse out to give it a reference angle, pull the direction I want to go, and type in a degree measurement. So I'll say 10 degrees, enter, and I'll do another one over here, come straight out and down, 10 degrees, and I just hit the space bar to get out of that command. So we've created these nice angled guidelines with the protractor and then we can do whatever we want to with those guidelines. And that's the basics of how you use the Protractor tool.